Moi. This time I'm answering uh, questions about composing and making music with other people. The first question is, when and how did you start creating music? And by creating, I suppose uh, we can speak about composing and arranging some new music. Um, I started uh, composing little um, easy tunes for my pupils already in the in the late 90s when I started teaching. Um, um, uh, after that, when I was studying at the Sibelius Academy Folk Music Department, I got more into composing and making music. Um, and especially for my thesis for master's degree, I composed some uh, three or four tunes. And uh, at that point, I, I started to feel more and more strongly that there, I have this need to express myself um, through music, through my own music. So I started making more, more and more, my own compositions. Uh, so there was a this uh, this strong desire to to create something new, my own. And also, uh, fiddle singing was a very strong uh, inspiration and reason to to start composing and developing something new. Um, sometimes I get uh, some co composition orders from uh, uh, choirs, for example, some choirs. Uh, sometimes um, some private people um, ask me to compose something special for them. What is your main inspiration when you're composing? Um, I have many things that inspire me, uh, so I can't name just one. Um, the inspiration comes often from a mental image, for example, of, uh, of of a dance or an atmosphere or certain color of a sound or a rhythmic pattern. Um, and most often I get started with, with a text that gives the inspiration, gives the mood and the, the spirit for a new composition. Um, it's often a traditional poem. I use a lot uh, a book called Kanteletar, which is a, a collection of traditional poems with a certain mm, meter in, in, in the language there. How did you create Dissertation Polska? Um, it's been a while, but as far as I can remember, the idea came from, from a need to make a polska um, as a pair for a minuet, which I had made for Loituma. And I had played a lot of uh, traditional polska tunes, mm, and um, so the so-called polska language was familiar to me. Um, the dissertation Polska actually sounds like a traditional Polska, oh, except the C part, which um, was inspired by a certain classical um, um, uh, playing technique on the violin. The structure of the melody is very easy. Uh, like in many traditional music, uh, musical styles. Um, I don't remember thinking about anything special uh, uh, in, in creating the melody. 
when I when I wrote it. But I guess it just it just came out like that. The original arrangement was made together with Lloyd Duma, and uh, this uh, piece is on our first no, was it on the second CD? I guess, and um, mm, I made a new version of of this Polska for my first solo CD, which was released 2004. And for that CD, I wanted to make a version with Ero Grundström, who is a, a really, really talented harmonium and piano player. So I recommend you to listen to Ero Grundström if you ha ever have a chance. It's a, uh, this dissertation Polska with him was um, quite different from, from the one we did with Lojduma. If you could, would you make a collaboration with the virtual singer Hatsune Miku? Mm. As I, ha I have already answered to some comments, um, I really prefer making music with live people, so I don't think I would work together with Hatsune, I think. Sorry for Hatsune fans. <laughs> Um, the natural connection with uh, other humans is is very important for me, especially when making music. And then, is there ever a chance for a collaboration video with your viewers? This is a, a beautiful idea. Mm. And I don't know how to do that in practice, so... Um, if you if you have uh, any instructions, let me hear it. If you had to do a duet with any singer or other musical artist, alive or dead, who who would it be and why? Um, there are very many musicians I would like to collaborate with, um, and I'm going to name two names here. Um, the first one is a Finnish a cappella group called Club for Five. Um, I really admire their talent and uh, amazingly beautiful sound and the, the unity that they have as a group of people and group of uh, um, um, musicians and uh, I admire their great musicality and uh, well and I also know one of them personally and uh, he has been singing actually on all of my CDs and uh, he's really a nice guy <laughs> but um, yeah it would be really beautiful to to have a chance to sing something with them someday. The second one is a British young man called Jacob Collier. Oof. He's a musical genius um, that seems to be a really nice guy also. Um, and I really admire his, his uh, energy and passionate attitude towards music. That's That's something worth aiming for. Um, well, never going to happen that one, I guess, but we have to have dreams. So this is it this time. If you have uh, more questions, just write them down on the comment section and I'll, I'll make another Q&A quite soon. Um, so, hey, Bob, see you again. <laughs>